ready do you feel like you guys are for, for what's coming tomorrow night? Uh, I think the last two days we've played very well. I think we'll be ready to play tomorrow night. What excites you most about getting into Big 12 play? Uh, just the opportunity to showcase what, what we've been doing in practice. Um, we've had a lot of reps in practice and building up to this to this point. So I think just coming out here and showcasing and having fun with basketball, I think that just you know, leads to more fun for more success. Coach, Coach Point talked a bit before the uh, holiday break that he maybe felt you were trying to do too much. Mm -hmm. Would you kind of agree with that assessment? Uh, yeah. During non-conference, I would say I would try to uh, find myself. Um, he just told me to slow down, slow the game down for me and just play with it, have fun. Uh, I was kind of rushing myself during non-conference to get back to where I was freshman year, but I got to learn that the game's different now and that it's harder competition to play against. You feel like you've been a little more free over the last week or so? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I mean, it's just, I've been talking a lot to the uh, coaching staff and Coach Coop, and he just told me to slow my mind down and just, and just play and have fun. Compared to this time last year, where do you think the team is at? Is it in a similar spot, or how do you think the non-conference, I guess, schedule has played a role? I think our non-conference helped us up way more than it did last year. Prepare us for a harder competition during the Big 12, because we know Big 12 is not easy at all. So I think when it comes down to those situational moments, I think we'll be ready for it. For you last season, watching those Big 12 games from the sidelines, what was the biggest takeaway you had, kind of just about the Big 12 conference play? It gets intense really quick. Uh, there's no shortcuts or anything that you can do. So you got to play every moment, every every time you're on the floor, you got to play hard. Whether you're on the bench, you got to cheer, bring energy to bring energy to the team and stuff like that. So I just think, um, I think we'll be ready for it. From watching Iowa State on film, what have you gained about their team? Uh, they're a very good opponent, very good opponent. Um, I'm surprised they aren't ranked, but I think they're somewhat, we, I think someone we can handle. Um, if we just come out and play our game, I think we can we can get, come out with a W. How important is it for you think the younger guys on the team that this first Big 12 game is at home? Uh, I think it's very good for them instead of a road atmosphere because that's very intense for, uh, if it was a road atmosphere, that'd be intense for my freshman year. Uh, but I think they'll just come out, they'll just have fun with it and just play their game. I think they'll be fine. Which road game are you most looking forward to? Um, pretty much everyone. But I would say mostly K-State and KU since I'm from Kansas, so I just back home. So. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? Don't turn the ball over. A lot. That's pretty much mine. What have these, you know, first couple months of the season, getting back from the suspension, just what has that transition been like for you? Um, it hasn't been an easy one, but it's been a, it's been a ride. I, I've enjoyed it. Um, I mean, nothing in life comes easy. I've learned that. So I just take it one day at a time and just – what were those few? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> what were those few days like for you, um, going home during break when you kind of had some time away from basketball? Um, I think it helped a lot. Helped the mental aspect. Um, I don't think people really understand what it's like grinding in college basketball. But I think just getting a few days at home, getting a few days away from the game, really helped a lot. You mentioned how the game has changed since your freshman year. How have you had to change your game in these last twelve games since you come back? Um, a lot of teams have scouted me as a driver, so I've been trying to develop my shot a lot. So I think just getting more reps up on that and then just the decision-making process, I think if I just slow my mind down, the game will come more simple to me. So I just had to adjust it to that a little bit. How nice is this time of year to be able to worry about just basketball? It's pretty nice. Uh, you ain't got to worry about school. But um, I think it's just good for us. We can just focus on that standpoint of things, just basketball, and just grinding out and working out and still getting more reps in and stuff like that, so I think that helps a lot. Last week, Coach mentioned how he's kind of taking you off the ball a little bit more so you focus on your scoring. Has that helped? Uh, yeah, I've been more so focused on getting focused on defense and stuff like that because I have been a lot, lot lackadaisical on that standpoint of the game, but um, I think he's trying to help me just adjust to the game more. Do you think Maybe, I don't know if issues is the right word, but what you've been doing on the offensive side of the ball has been affecting your defense? Uh, yeah, I think I'm just thinking too much about that step of the game and that it's an all-around game. So I just can't let that uh, aspect of my game affect the defense. Thanks, Michael. Thanks. Thank you.